Hey guys, it's Joe. And Courtney. From Hey That's Pretty Cool. Here's part two <laughs> of our Comic Con grabs. We got cut off for some reason. I, so <laughs> We had a glitch. I'm not sure what happened. Comic Con part two. But uh, as I was saying, it, around 93, 94, just a little bit after Power Rangers started getting real big, they, it wasn't Saban, some other company was trying to compete. With Power Rangers. And they adapted one of the versions of Ultraman. This one, specifically. To a show here in America about a teenage boy who gets pulled into the cyber world in, on his computer. Playing computer games and he becomes a superhero. Called Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. It was him and a couple of his friends that turned into these guys. And it was kind of cool. I remember watching it as a kid and... I think I even had this figure, or a figure similar to him. My dad, he liked Ultraman, and Godzilla, and stuff like that. Old Japanese kaiju movies, like giant monsters, giant robots, stuff like that. And I think that's what kind of got me into Power Rangers. That's really cool looking. And I just saw this guy, while we were looking for a little, we got a few little figures for my son, and we saw this guy... And he was marked at 10 bucks, and I was like, how much for the superhuman samurai? And the guy's like, he looked at me, he's like, oh, Ultraman. I was like, yeah. I always knew him as superhuman samurai. <laughs> so I got him, and then he talked me into this book for four bucks. So they kind of go hand in hand. You can see that they're very similar in appearance. There's many different Ultramen, obviously, just from the cover. So, yeah, I might uh, check this out. By the way, this is a number one. That's pretty cool. And also, out of the little toy box that we got, um, Marcus some little figures. Yeah, we, we got Marcus some figures. I found me a little Batgirl. They go with <laughs> her growing Batman collection. Yes. So and I grabbed some Skylanders. I'm not really familiar with them. I think they're video game related or board game related. I just like the way they look. Especially this big like tree monster dude. He reminds me of, like a, Groot. A crazy He kinda looks like Groot. Groot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I like dragons. I thought this guy was like a gargoyle like castle dragon, like it just sat there. But yeah. That's our Comic Con grabs. Um, trying to think of what else we did. We went to the pool. It was Marcus's okay. first time in a pool. I mean, he's been he in the bathtub. It. He's been in the lake, but he's never been it in a pool. It wasn't his first time. It was like he's been in a couple times, but he's always been really scared of being around it. Yeah, but he likes the tub and stuff. But but he this time he had a lot he of fun. loved it. Actually surprised. And he even tried to let go and like go on his own. And I was like, no, dude, <laughs> the, the water's too deep for you to do that. We took him to the bounce house. That was a lot of fun. And he loved that. So he had fun. He wasn't even scared of any of these things in costume. Like there are some scary looking dudes <laughs> yeah, there. Are. And he... Wasn't even terrified or nothing. He fell asleep during the adult costume contest. So we didn't even get to see the end of it. We didn't get to see who won. We did get to see a lot of great cosplays. But a well, lot. Of... And there was a lot of people in front of us. And we're so short that <laughs> it's yeah. so hard to see over. Everybody. A lot of people. Uh, I noticed a lot of costumes were very repetitive. Like, a ton of Deadpools, ton of Harley Quinns. <laughs> They're popular characters, though. I didn't see a whole lot of Power Rangers. I seen a couple. You did? Mm -hmm. huh. Remember the little boy oh, that was in the red? I meant, like, adults. Power Ranger, hey. <laughs> it's still a Power Ranger costume. <laughs> um. I also, uh, got, we got some pictures. I'm gonna try and upload them. There, into this there, video. there was some live action uh, R2D2 
Like, there's an actual functional R2-D2, turn, move, beep, sounds, all that, at the 501st Legion. Marcus got a picture next to that. There was a dude dressed as Chewbacca, <laughs> Darth Vader, Stormtroopers and Snowtroopers, Boba Fett. A woman Boba Fett at that. You sure that was a woman? Yes, it was. I and never, it was very cool. I never costume. seen it. Cosplay, very, very awesome. Yeah, it was, like, straight um, up from the movie. Um... Lots of Kylo Ren's, lots of Rays, uh, lots of just random Jedi's. Not a whole lot of Sith. Game of Thrones throne where you could get pictures. Yeah, from the, the Iron Throne was there. That was pretty cool. Um, there was also All kinds of stuff. Trying to think, there was also Drink and Draw on Saturday night. That was kind of cool. We didn't go to it, but it was cool that they did it. Yeah. We don't drink. So, cool. it... And then they also had... What else? Uh, they also had karaoke. Oh, yeah, they did have karaoke. Like, oh, comic yeah. book-themed karaoke night. Where you just go and get drunk and sing... I don't know what they were doing. I really don't. But it was loud. Till, like, 4 a.m. <laughs> like, down on the main floor. We were on the sixth floor. Then we had a sketchy elevator. <laughs> yeah, there's one of the elevators. I swear the thing was malfunctioning. Because I straight up got stuck in between the third and fourth floor. In the elevator. I couldn't figure out. I freaked out. Could not figure. I had to wait for someone outside to, like, try to get on the elevator. Because I was just stuck there. It, I, I was terrified. I really was. The idea of being trapped in a little metal canister... That's pulled by a cable? Just don't <laughs> sit right with me. So, yeah, that was a lot of fun, I guess. <laughs> there was, like, a mall inside of this place. Yeah, there were a lot of shops. A lot of shops. They had um, a big, a huge candy store. They had a bunch of toy store. stores. Toy stores. A um, bunch of restaurants. Free shuttle to the casino, yep. if you wanted to do that. Uh, I wish, I didn't have clubs or anybody to go golfing with, but it was $75 for the whole weekend. For the whole weekend, that's a pretty good deal. 18 course. Yep. 18 whole course, 75 bucks. That's So awesome. 25 bucks a day. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, We had a very good experience. Awesome. I will never stay at Grand Traverse Resort again. <laughs> no. It's too expensive. And they're stupid. I, I, I'm not trying to be negative, but $15 a day for a microwave? <laughs> a common household appliance. And you have to oh. rent it? What? No. Next that year, weird. next year, we're going to stay at a much cheaper hotel down the road, either at down the road in Acme or further down in in Travers area and just drive to the con. Because that was just ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, it was convenient because you're right there. Oh, but... yeah. It was nice to be able to just be like, all right, oh, we're we done. Just go downstairs. And, and it was so there. hot. And this was it the was biggest hot. convention ever this year. There was a lot of people. There was over 28,000 people. I mean, that's at not the big Comic -Con. for normal cons, That's big for our for small ours, little area. For our that's area, huge. that's pretty big. Very good to So, know. in all, our first Comic Con experience was mm, 99% good with a minor some minor infractions, no big deal. Uh she did step on glass in the hallway. <laughs> I did. We, we went to buy a soda out of the vending machine on our floor. And she sliced her heel open, or toe open, or something. I had my bandage, still. <laughs> like, some drunk idiot dropped a broken, like, a wine glass or something, and they didn't pick up the glass. So I ended up calling down to the front desk. And, and they still them, didn't pick up the glass. No, they didn't. They left it there, so I went and picked it up. So, nothing negative about Cherry Capital Comic Con. Grand Traverse Resort, negative. Negative experience for most things. The food, expensive. Uh, the rooms, outrageous. 
overall. But we had a very good experience. Good. Fun time. We're definitely going to do it again next year. We're In fact, we're going to just start planning now. <laughs> so we're completely ready to go because we even kind of felt rushed this year. Of course, we're rookies at this. <laughs> I mean, I've been a nerd my whole life, but I've never been this kind of a nerd. So, maybe next year I'll go as this guy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It would be pretty cool, though. I don't even know anything about these guys. I I just know it says Activision, and I'm pretty sure that's a video game company. Yeah. And or a so if you could tell me more about video. Skylanders... Especially this guy, because he's got, like, this gem thing here. His eyes look like they light up. Just tell me about both of these, or about Skylanders in general, what they do, what they're for. I I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm oblivious to some things. I just like the way they looked. And they were a buck each. We got these out of the same bin that we grabbed Marcus's toys out of. And we also grabbed her, that bat girl. Which I'm yeah, pretty sure was a McDonald's or Burger King Batgirl, but hey, whatever. <laughs> yeah, She's from the 90s. Little, he got a little goofy, a Chip. Uh, Chip or Dale, one of the two that was... Chip, his nose is chocolate, it was Chip. Oh, yep. Dressed as a um, Chinaman, mm -hmm. like he had the triangular hat. And he got a and smurf hat. <laughs> yeah, and he got a smurf hat with no arms, but whatever. <laughs> He, he, he loves them. He, he loves them. <laughs> he hasn't stopped playing with them since he got them last night. So, yeah. He enjoyed that. Uh, we do have more videos coming, guys. Not necessarily Comic-Con related. We just went through pretty much everything. I will be going more in depth on the Ninja Turtle figures and the Superhuman Samurai slash Ultraman figure. When I start doing more Power Rangers, Super Sentai stuff related, and Ninja Turtle related, I have a huge vintage turtle collection, and I'm going to try to get through all of them. Uh, I'm talking hundreds. So, uh, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of turtles on this channel. So, if you're a Team NT fan, tune in. I don't think I'll ever compare to Pixel Dan. <laughs> Love the guy. But... Uh, I'm going to be delving into the Turtles soon. And maybe a little more into Green Lantern. Like I said, he's my favorite superhero from DC. I know it's really weird, right? Especially with that Ryan Reynolds movie that came out a few years ago. But I even enjoyed that movie. I know it sucks, but it was Green Lantern. And it's Ryan Reynolds. I preferred him as Deadpool. <laughs> I definitely preferred him as Deadpool. <laughs> so, that's all we got, guys. We do have more videos coming probably tomorrow or the next day. By the way, happy Memorial Day weekend. Enjoy it. Don't forget what it's all about. I can't stress that enough. I did have a really rude experience when we were packing up, getting ready to leave. I am a cigarette smoker. I do not smoke in my house. And I sure as hell would never smoke anywhere near my collectibles. Because they'll kill your lungs, but they will fucking ruin your comics. Excuse <laughs> the language. So, I was out at the car after I packed things up, smoking a cigarette. And this lady was parked next to us. Rude. So rude to me. She's like, I can't wait to be out of here and away from all this disgusting cigarette smoking. And I was like, you know what, lady? I took a bullet so I could smoke a cigarette. And I also took a bullet so you could be a grade A jerk. I, I didn't say that. I said asshole. But pardon my language for all you younger children out there that watch my channel. And she starts driving off. And she looks at me. Gives me a dirty look. Smirks. And then flips me the bird. Like the middle finger, man. And I was like... <laughs> Like middle finger. I smiled. I went, peace, lady. <laughs> peace, man. And then I pointed at my license plate. I was like, I got a purple heart. That's why I... 
And then the other people that were and there. There are other people that seen it and heard it, and they're like, are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. Really and they thanked me for my service. And then they were like, I can't believe people would act that way, especially on Memorial Day weekend. I was like, it's Memorial Day for me every day. Like, I never forget that there are men and women laying down their lives. That nowadays most people are fucking disrespectful and have... Language. They have no respect for anything, so... Sorry, guys, or about anyone. the language. Wait, so. we're kind of tired and stressed out. <laughs> I've also been extremely sick, if you can't tell. I got food poisoning a few days ago, so... Hasn't been too good <laughs> with the stomach and other areas of my body but enough about the negative things great time at con can't wait to do it again next year looking for some friends <laughs> who would like to go who would be interested in this kind of thing so let us know <laughs> and please help me figure out about these guys and let us know what your favorite item was that we got from the con uh, go, or if you went... Yeah, if you went to Cherry Capital Comic Con, let us know. Let us know how your stuff, experiences yeah. was, what you guys got, whether you were first time goer, or this is like your 6th or 7th or whatever time going. I, I believe it's been going on 11 years, 12 years, something like that. It's been going on a long time for our small area, and it's the largest one in our area. In fact, I think it's the only one in northern Michigan. So... But, <clears throat> hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. Stay tuned. We have more nerd blocks coming. More loot crates coming. Uh, more videos of... Brothers. Star Wars, Harley Quinn, Batman stuff, Joker stuff, Ninja Turtles. Just I'm going to be pumping those out as much as I can. So, that's what we got. Um... We'll, we'll keep you all posted on what's going on for next year. Like, we'll let you know, hey, this is what's going to happen at C4 this year. Because they let you know as it gets closer. So, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked the things we got. Ugh, my voice. It's really rough. And, uh... Thanks for watching. I'm Joe. And I'm Courtney. From hey, that's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Have a nice evening, guys.